Okay. Okay, so I just took this line out of track to show you what I mean. So this is all groundwater, and it's basically the same level as the pool water. I mean, right there we are. And so uh, when the water level in the pool is low, or lower than the groundwater, the groundwater is actually going to lift the liner up on the back side so that it's the same level. The water in the pool and the water outside the pool, it's trying to be the same level. Water always seeks its own level. So that's why the liner is loose. To correct this problem, either I have to add water to the pool, which then will force the liner back because it's higher. It's going to tighten it all back up. Or just wait for the groundwater level to dissipate out and go back in the ground. People think that the area behind the liner is supposed to be, you know, uh, watertight and that sort of thing, but that's not the case. The groundwater is going to come and go behind the liner, uh, depending upon, you know, the soil conditions in the yard. And in this case, I have a lot of clay in the yard, so uh, this is a hole in the yard with a with a liner in it, and uh, so that's how come the liner is all floaty and loose. And it makes a great time to put the liner back in track. But at the same time, that's a, this is a classic pool where you'll need to use liner lock to keep the liner from popping out real easy whenever this floating occurs. And you can look on down this wall here too. You can see all the wrinkles on the wall. And that's just from the liner being uh, soft or loose because the groundwater behind it. And that's one of the reasons why I tell uh, customers that I have that have liners that are prone to floating to uh, fill it full of uh, water. You want that liner full of water, even to the brim. And then whenever it's raining, you don't want to backwash or lower the water level in the liner at all. You want to keep this liner full. If you backwash water out, trying to lower the water level in the liner, then the water in the ground just it gives it more room to come back in and float the liner higher so uh, that's that for liner care some folks will um, say we need to put a sump pump in an area back here to pump all the water out uh, and uh, and that's okay i mean you can do that you're just pumping all the ground water level from one area you know out and dumping it out somewhere else trying to keep the, the ground water level behind the liner lower that's keeping it tight and uh, if you have a situation where no matter what you try the liner likes to float then that's one of those things you'll have to do but uh, anyhow just wanted to give you a little bit of education on that